Welcome back, everybody. This is week number one of the European qualifier for the Quake World Championship. And this is our Sunday playoffs. We're going up to our fourth series now, which is between Rel and Agent. This is our round of 16. So to remind you guys that have just joined us, essentially what's going on right here is that Thursday was a 700-man bracket. A lot of eager players trying to qualify for today's Sunday playoffs for both Duel and Sacrifice. We went down to our top 16, and today, in our top 16 bracket, Every match that you see on this stream will determine who makes it into the EU regionals to potentially qualify for the Quake World Championship and who else has to try again next week or weeks after that. So every match is do or die. You win, you make it to the regionals and we see you in a number of weeks. You lose, you're eliminated, better luck next time. Every match is important today. Basically every single match today is so important for both players for making sure they can qualify or whether they have to try again. In both Sacrifice and Duel, bear in mind we have Sacrifice later on today, but Rel versus Agent, our next matchup. Agent, I feel like we've got to talk about this guy a little bit because Agent is such a well-established uh, Russian player among the Quake community. He's seen in very, very high esteem. One of the highest account levels I think I've seen in this game as well. This guy's played a lot of Quake. Um, but the important thing to talk about Agent is that 125 FPS, the ongoing Quake Cup that has been going on for so, so long now. Um, Agent in particular, Quake Live, all the way up until the codes for you know Quake Champions back in the day were distributed to a lot of players that were then getting their hands on it and starting to play duels on Quake Champions and stuff like that. Agent was basically doing 125 FPS almost every week, and you would see him in the grand finals almost every single time, taking it to players like Evil, for example, who, you know, he, he, the important thing to take here is that Quake Champions is a new game, but Agent has been playing Quake the entire time. But that's what I mean, though, um, when we say sometimes especially during almost like uh, the 700-man bracket we had on Thursday when we say some players, there are a lot of familiar names. You know, we went down some of the more notable Round ones and, and some of them... Oh, it looks like... Oh, actually, we good to go already. Two, We've gone through the uh, the one, draft. Okay, I see. Round so I'll, I'll finish one. that thought later. Rel versus Ooh. Agent. Oh, Agent starting with Clutch. This makes me very excited. Now Clutch is a very aggressive character. Does fit. You can see just how aggressive Agent is being already. Trying to head him off. No, there we go. The dual wield versus the shield. He's going to completely soak up every ounce of it. Clutch having that unique answer for the shield wall that no other champions really have. It's a direct counter. I actually think that was like a perfect example of how that works, though. You know, I mean, you saw Blaskovitz pop dual wield, Agent pop barrier, and that was it. Completely nullified. And barrier has a shorter cooldown, so Agent kind of coming off well in that trade. Absolutely. Bear in mind, once he gets access to it, if Rel now does not have his dual wield available, Agent with the snipe! And that immediate clutch, clearly working out really well. You can see how fast this champion flies around the map now as well. He's got that strafe dodge. We did see Agent use a little bit of clutch during the 700-man bracket qualification on Thursday, so it's good to see that he's actually really sort of sticking to his guns and going with these unique champion picks that he must feel is just good for the job. Well, it's kind of showing off for him, Agent, though, running this clutch first. I can't understand this, though. Clutch could be quite a momentum-heavy character, considering his mobility. If he can really stack up and get max health, max armor, and start having the champion lead, you can see just how fast he can get around. Again, going in for the shield wall. Nice prediction. He knew that Rel was going to teleport to it. What a read, and so well paid off. And now Rel is down to the Nyx, that final champion of this round. But you see how just how much of a scary brute force clutch can be if he pops that barrier and just gets right up in your face. There is nowhere to hide. He really is able to sort of compete with the speed of Nyx and those light champions as well. The strafe jump. Is he going to read it? Where's Rel going to go? He, he had it read perfectly. again. He's read it again. However, Rel sitting on the heavy armor, probably confident going for the assassination attempt, maybe. Oh, clutch first, man. What a dangerous champion. Now. I think clutch is doing a good job of just completely, you know, flipping the switch and taking today's general pace and just flipping it completely around. We had, you know, set one and two were completely just super slow paced, very calm, very collected. And then in comes Agent with Clutch, who is just popping that barrier, just getting right up close and personal with no fear and just annihilating. I've got a lot of respect for the play style because these guys know what's on the line. These are very important matches, but it is not keeping Agent from being, you know, almost intimidated by what's on the line here. You know, he's staying confident, he knows his game plan, and just look how fast he's navigating the map. This aggression is very confident. See though, oh, he's going to heavy armor, heavy armor clutch is nothing to shake a stick at. Oh, but he's running, he's got the barrier up. Now it's one off now. The armor just spawns. 
The thing is, though, with a 30-second cooldown, it really is such a, a strong tool because he has it almost every single fight. Didn't quite manage to get the jump there. Clutch with these really unique jumps, I think. You can get a really good burst of speed, and then when you're at the, sort of the apex of your jump pad jump, uh, you can actually then use the boost in that direction. I guess he's got quite a lot of health left, though. He just took a bunch of damage and still has 100 left to work with. Oh, yeah, he's going to go down towards heavy armor. Is he going to fight this? Looks like he's he going to. The he's going for it. But he's all in. All or nothing. He's got one. Getting the trail in. But the rail from Rel. Agent going a little bit too deep there. Oh, but Rel, though, he mustn't have had much left health-wise at the end of that exchange, but he's able to pull off ahead. Rel's got a nice amount of health. Nice little dodge on that rail as well. Agent missing two rails back to back. Oh, the trading rail for rail. That's a trade that Rel can afford to take. He's got the health for it. Oh, he didn't see the invisibility. Now Agent has it. Tries to relocate with the die roll, but it's not going to be enough. Agent, once again, does manage to score that Oh, flag. Agent got the gauntlet out. He was ready to get close. Right. Both players now playing as next, but at the same time, 20 seconds away from Agent having access to the Ghost Walk again. That's going to be almost no time at all, though, if he can get some of those power-ups. Now you wonder, Agent's going to sort of almost play a little bit more traditionally now he's not got Clutch. It's such a unique champion, but Agent's been using it to such good effect. That 80 damage rocket again, forcing the Ghost Walk. He's going to try and chase it down. Trying to predict where he's going to go. Actually, this entire prediction period has been really on point. He just knew exactly where Grell was going to run away. Oh, oh you yeah, hate to see that kind of thing happen. And Oops. Agent, whoopsie daisy. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Ethan Laskovitz, the final champion of this round on the side of Rel. We find Laskovitz alone by himself, though. He seems quite a popular final champion to bring out, but Agent looking very strong at the moment. I mean, even without the clutch, this Nyx is looking super lethal. Oh, that's actually one of the elements you can do. The, uh, the sort of the technique of where you sort of, if you hold your jump button right as you sort of uh, hit the wall on a jump pad, you can almost use like a ledge grab. You can do that with Nyx, you kind of risk accidentally using the wall jump and not the ledge grab, and you don't quite get high up enough and you kind of just fall back down. Oh, a lot of these rockets connecting, and that is it. Rel, unfortunately, gets caught out in the open again, and round two swiftly goes to Agent. Agent looking unstoppable in this first map. I mean, it's, it's a level of dominance that I think we're actually familiar. When you watch Agent play, he is a very scary player when it comes to how aggressive he likes to play. And I feel like right now, Clutch in particular, has let Agent take his game plan in this game and just put a big old exclamation point on the end of it. Because Clutch does exactly what Agent wants to do to everyone in the game. And just, just so you can say that, look at that, Dyro comes through, and he's got his barrier late. There was no way Agent was going to drop that kill as soon as Rel used that Dyro orb, and he still had barrier. That was guaranteed. Oh, Agent, he, he clearly went into the shield orb as well. Not really, because normally you see the shield orb used in conjunction with those single shot weapons. It was like, like an up-close exchange. Agent had a lightning gun, and he used the shield orb literally just to soak up that one rocket. And that was it. He knew that if that rocket went down, the rest of the lightning gun would just shred the health he had left. Really nice awareness of how much health Rel had remaining, I think. Already has the barrier up as well, just like that. Rel is now immediately a Nyx versus a big, scary red robot. Again, just <laughs> look at, at the top of the screen when you can see how much health both players have. Look at how much blue is on Clutch's meter. You can tell he has a he has a hunch where she is. I mean, I can make this being quite intimidating when Agent is a fully stacked clutch, and he's just looking for you, hunting you down. Doesn't quite get the rail. The rail absolutely does not care. Yeah, I mean, he's still got he's still got armor left. He's got 165 health. I mean, that's more than enough. But at the same time, I feel like we're consistently seeing Agent actually pop the uh, uh -oh. shield wall. He's going for the shield wall again, soaking up all of the LG rail, forced to use the ghost wall. But believe it or not, clutch can actually see when the when a Nyx is in her ghost walk, Clutch can actually see them while his shield is active. Wait, what? Yeah. For real? Yeah, that's why um, he immediately turned around. He knew he was there. Unless unless it's been changed. I mean, they might have actually changed it recently, but you used to be able to. If, if that is the case, what an answer to the meta of Duel, right? Nyx being so popular, Clutch now all of a sudden being able to see her. What an amazing answer to what everyone brings to the table. I've played a lot of Clutch, and I remember distinctly seeing it multiple times. But I mean, like, obviously, if I'm wrong, I'm completely prepared. It might not be in the game anymore, but if so, that's a, a hell of an answer for Nyx. It would make sense. He, I mean, he turned around immediately. Like he, he looked right there in that direction. Either oh, that or he there is. There we go, the barrier to shut down Blaskovitz. And 
again. He actually did damage to himself. Shooting that shield will self-damage. Agent just... It actually looks like Rel just doesn't really know what to do either when the shield was up. It looks like a matchup he is just not familiar with. An Agent, wow, a dominant game all around. All coming down to this clutch, though. That scary robot man, newly buffed and very, very effective. Oh, clearly. Like, absolutely clearly. But I feel like... It was it was such a distinct turnaround when he saw the ghost when he saw the ghost walk it was like direct lock you are right there and I'm gonna follow you so either it was the world's greatest prediction or Clutch is still able to see a Nyx when she's invisible regardless though Clutch pick working out a dream just the 100 percent Clutch made all the difference in that match okay so what what do you do about it though because it used to be uh, and if those of you watching they might not be aware the last couple of days Clutch received a change where he can now um, dash in uh, any direction he wants by pressing the movement key again sort of uh, back to back does he have to be in the air for it or is it key to do it on the ground does he have to be in the uh, air it's pretty much just a, a, a strafe in general yeah, it's basically just like a strafe. He can move around in any direction and sort of just boost himself in that direction. That goes hand in hand with his acceleration passive, which is when he's moving in like a straight line, the longer he moves in that one direction without changing direction, the faster he will go, which goes hand in hand with that strafe. Because that's where you see Agent making these crazy jumps and just zipping all over the place because he is strafing forward. Clutch. That's definitely, uh, he didn't used to move around like that. Definitely yeah, not. But, but that change paired with his barrier soaking up abilities, just popping the barrier, getting really close to them, and you're just like, they're on the other side of it, and you're just shooting from it, and you're invincible. Well, what, what it essentially did with Clutch was it kind of fixed his main left. weaknesses. Now, they've wasted no time. We are now corrupted straight keep. onto Corrupted Keep, and Agent actually going back in with the Clutch. I'm not surprised to see him like waste no time and go immediately into Clutch, but at the same time, right, what I think makes his team composition really dangerous is the fact that Agent is already superb with the more traditional champion so he's got Nyx he's got Visor he's really good with those champions anyway and his Nyx by itself is probably gonna be a nightmare to deal with but at the same time now he's got clutch as well it's just a really unique team that I don't know whether his opponents really have much experience against it. but what an effective lineup too I mean what what doesn't that composition have if you've got Nyx so you can be everywhere you have that irritating ghost walk you have the mobility you have just the, the general usefulness of that character clutch who just does what we've just seen agent do now and then some you know we, we, we're about to see clutch on corrupted keep yeah you've got nowhere to go that is a small map with no rail you also about to say you also have no rail to sort of keep clutch at bay if you can pick clutch off with rails before he gets in so just when he finally makes that big up close and personal attack on you He's at least not going to have like full health when he does it because the shield will soaks up all the damage. He can just pepper rockets for days. If you don't have a rail, you can't actually really do that. Unless you have like a heavy machine gun of which it will be minimal damage, but at Round least he has the bigger seven. hitbox. But rail, Three, to be honest, two, he looked a little bit lost one, um, in that Round first one, map. Fight. And it was only really when the, the, the clutch was in play. You used to be able to sort of just run away from clutch and outlast his shield because he was very slow. Now they fixed his mobility so he flies around like that. He can basically chase you for as long as he wants. Very effective champion. Actually took quite a lot of damage to there, and Rel's doing a really good job of, sort of just zoning off these pickups. Trying to get this mega health, but it's going to be up for quite some time. Hey, yeah, Rel's actually getting really aggressive. There seems to be his big adaption so far. He's just getting right in Asian's face instead. Well, bear in mind, he's, he's got a little bit of health back, but again, he's following it. He can see exactly where he is. I'm, he, he must be able to still see it. Now, obviously, now no longer can see, so he's having to sort of predict once again. Oh, and he just snags up the heavy armor. Lightning Gun tries to stop him. Actually, he is in quite a, a bad place right here. Take a lot of damage, but just jump straight through. And the mega health to save him into the Lightning Gun pickup as well. Barrier up in 10 seconds. Almost does everything he needs to delim uh, deliminate. <laughs> Destroy <laughs> Rel. Destroy and eliminate in one word. Oh, I thought he was going to jump off the edge there. He got close. Deliminate. Deliminated. That's a word Clutch would say, I think. Look how fast he's going right now. Crazy mobility. Nice reactions on the ghost wall. But yeah, again, he pops it. He's using it on reaction because he now knows he can see where he is. Like It's almost like an exact reason of why maybe Visor would use the exact same thing. Trying to chase it down. Gets absolutely more than enough damage. And look at how stacked Agent is right now with Clutch. Agent just showing the knowledge right now, right? You know, he's, he's, he's bringing this very uncommon character you know this uncommon champion to the to, to this 1v1 and he's putting it to perfect use right now well is unfortunately the victim of it so far i think it's doing a good job of just showing preparation i think that you know if, if with clutch getting the uh, significant changes he's received it totally makes sense that players would be and uh, nice catching it trading the shield for the dual wield and it just doesn't do anything to that shield at all but I think it's just preparation. These guys knew that Clutch was going to be different, and Agent clearly went straight in. Oh and, my lord! And learned oh this champion. Lord. He learned the champion in preparation, and to the point where he's using it. And it's just 
this big unfamiliarity factor. It's working out for him, though. He just, just goes to show why you need to really just put that effort in. And even then, you know, not saying that Rail Clee doesn't know how, no, to, how to play against Clutch, because he's not playing poorly. It's oh, just the agent is just not giving him any room to breathe at all. I mean, even if you know what to do, how much can you... I mean, yeah, he can't he's get just... away! Come back here, little lady! Oh, my day, he's going straight in with more lightning gun. And look how much health he's got left. This is like a complete answer to all three members of Rel's team, with the exception of the Ranger oh whose Dire Orb can go through the shield. And these Psychic Rockets, I mean, don't be afraid, Rel. He only wishes to exterminate you. Oh. Don't go anywhere. All right, he's trying to chase him down once again, but I feel like in 10 seconds, he's going to have that shield wall, and you know what he's going to do the second he gets it. He's getting the heavy armor as well. A heavy armored clutch with a shield wall is so unstoppable when he gets point blank. And a map like Corrupted Keep, and again, there's no rail to keep him at bay. I mean, you can tell he just, he's getting so good. This, this is aggression unlike we've seen today from anyone. And the oh. barrier to stop the dual wheel. Oh. That's absolute counter. I'm so sorry, Blaskovitz, but you're going to have to put that second gun away. It doesn't do so anything. I, I, I actually think, though, well, I honestly think may, maybe a champion switch would have been the smartest move here because barrier stops. Oh, he mix. misses the dire orb as well, misses that true 100 damage. Oh my lord. So so Barrier counters Nyx and Barrier counters Blaskovitz. Two of the three champions that uh, Rel has brought to the table are getting hard countered. Oh my lord. Getting hard countered so far just by this one champion by Match himself. Match point. Match. This is, this is definitely, I think, the fastest series that we've had tonight. It's such a dominating performance, but it's literally been 100% clutch. I mean, the situation, like, if, if Rel pops Ghost Walk to get away, he's just going to pop Barrier and chase him. Yeah, absolutely. This is such a smart champion choice. And again, he's just going to follow her. There's no getting away from this big, angry red robot who's got so much health and armor stocked. Oh! oh. Wow, and a super shotgun kill to Rel. Who does he bring up next? Blaskowitz comes back out. 20 seconds away from Barrier being up. If Rel's going to go for him, he has to do it now. It's going to be risky, though, because he's just collected that mega health once again. The second he gets that mega health, it's like, whoa. He's going to have the shield wall in 10 seconds, and once he gets that shield wall, Baskovitz is not going to be able to do what he does best. Oh, and he's going for a teleporter. The barrier is up. That dual wield is nullified once again. He's trying to get close to go through it. He's got the gun out, but it's not quite enough. And Ooh. he does finally manage to take him down. Rel throwing a lifeline. Finally clutches off the table. I feel like it was a long time coming, but he was finally able to remove Clutch from play, especially in this round. Now, what Rel has to do is just absolutely make the most of this scenario. But the danger is, I mean, Agent still has a Nyx ready to go, and she has proven to be so lethal in duels as well. And He's this, got is, this. this is the biggest issue. Agent's, Agent has three strong champions. It's not like Clutch is the only one he can win with. Oh, and right here, he takes him down again with the Super Shotgun. And once again, Ranger, the lone defender for Pharrell stuck by himself to take out a Nyx and oh my lord just was... just like that just like that really fast deletion right there I mean it was just really well played by agent clearly that clutch in particular I mean sometimes you always go right well it was clearly a mixture of you know the champions played really well in this instance that was 100% clutch like that champion just did all the work in that match he knew exactly what he was doing he knew what game plan he wanted to play as an aggressive player and that's all he needed to win the set I mean, but that's what we've said before, right? It's, it's nice seeing specific champions come out for certain reasons and certain players. And Agent bringing us, I would say, without a shadow of a doubt, the strongest clutch play we have seen so far in the Quake World Championship. I, I, I don't see anything even holding a candle to what we just saw there. You know, just saving the barrier, the knowledge of who it counters, in what capacity, when to chase, when to run away, how to run away, how to move. Just everything this character can do, everything this champion brings to the table, Agent was able to showcase there. But just look at what, just, it, it's just a, a level of confidence that we haven't really, you know, we've seen confidence today, but you know, we, we've seen many, many series, say, go down to sort a of very passive play, down to the wire, last round, you know, overtime, etc., etc. But when it comes to the way this game went down, it was just non-stop aggression. Like, Agent would get a read on where you are, or he'd just straight up see you. And like situations like this, he's able to completely nullify everything that the champions had to offer. The shield wall would soak up all of Blaskovitz's dual wield. The shield wall would also detect Nyx when she's invisible. On the flip side of that, even though Ranger can penetrate the shield, like right here, like this is proof 100% why Clutch is really good in duel, I think. He does a good job versus all of the important champions that everyone's using. To be fair, you know, Nyx is popular on almost every team. Blaskovitz we're seeing more and more of. 
and he seems to do a very good job versus those specifically. So I think the more those those champions get picked, the more maybe we'll start to see uh, Clutch come out of the, the woodwork a little bit more. Well, how often have we seen people go with Nyx first? Nyx as a first pick, or is she's pretty much caught on every single team. And bear in mind, obviously, I know Agent used Nyx as well on his team. But we're seeing Nyx used almost every single team composition. And now you've got someone like Clutch who... Looks like a, a pretty substantial counter to that, but obviously time will tell. But I feel like even in the course of Thursday to today, we're seeing these individual strategies really sort of, uh, I guess, come out to play. People are starting to learn more about the game and they're trying to put their own flair on the way they play Duel. Of course, well, but that is just one series. We have a bunch more coming up, some more Duel and then Sacrifice after that. But for now, I do believe we're going to another break. Yep, yeah, we're going to go for a quick break. We'll be right back in due time, but don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss it.